Hello, welcome to a, uh, another video. This is cataract surgery with omni dilation of the Schlumps Canal and hydrus. I uh, typically use this combination when there is a uh, bleeding issue like a blood thinner. Uh, once again, the orientation, we are sitting temporal as I do for all of my surgery. I start with a uh, subconj injection of 2% um, lidocaine with epi. Uh, this is really important so that when I get to the hydrus later on in the surgery, they do not have sensation. Uh, early on in my hydrus experience, I found people were feeling the hydrus go in and moving suddenly, creating more of a hydrus goniotomy than a hydrus implant. So I find this uh, injection starting off is really a great way to uh, uh, avoid that. The next uh, move is to start the cataract surgery and you'll notice the wound is just a little bit more uh, corneal than normal. Now take a look at this angle. This is not towards the center and not towards the uh, three o'clock hydrus plant, implant site. Notice the line. It kind of splits the difference. This is really important uh, to have that angle and I'll show you why later. But it allows me to do both surgeries with only two incisions. So there is some, uh, some evidence that multiple incisions increases the risk of endophthalmitis. So this keeps it at the two. Uh, I have sped up the uh, cataract part here because this is a omnihydrous instructional video and not a cataract video. This is just standard phacochap cataract surgery. I did want to show it though um, to demonstrate that I can do the surgery without any problem through the wound, um, even the paracentesis wound, even oriented at that slightly offset direction. So at this time, I also want to um, thank uh, Rob Noecker for introducing me to the idea of Omnihydrus. It's been uh, extremely helpful. Like I said, when we have uh, people on blood thinners like Eliquis and Plavix and things, uh, any kind of bleeding from the Hydrus site can really disturb uh, the surgery and make it impossible to do an implant. It slows everything down. Here we are back at real time. So the rest of this video is um, normal time video and what you see me doing now is preparing for the uh, omni and hydrus part so I like to start with myostat pull the iris away from the angle it gives better visualization I know not everybody does this but I, I really find it useful and here what you see I'm, I'm actually touching the iris as I'm injecting I'm doing what you normally don't want to do but by touching the iris with the myostat you can see the pupil come down just have to give it a little bit of time before you do the next step which is to put in some um, non-preserved uh, lidocaine and this again this is to make sure there is absolutely no sensation in the meshwork area when I go to do the hydrus. I have had too many people jump suddenly uh, causing quite a disturbance in the angle. So then we refill with uh, viscoelastic and at this point then I'm going to tell the patient I'm going to break the tape and I'm going to move your head. So here we are in the external with the Insta 361 X cam view and I'm talking to the patient now telling them I'm breaking your tape I'm going to turn your head away from me and I'm also telling them to look away from the light. Everybody wants to look back at the light you really have to coach them well. Then I'm going to tilt the microscope towards me. So head away, microscope towards. Then you have to readjust your oculars. And last, readjust everything, the scope, your seat. You really have to pretend you're kind of starting fresh. This is so important. You must get this on false view uh, of the angle. So now here we're going to check the angle view with the uh, gonio prism. And this is the uh, actually a glaucose wide angle gonio prism that was uh, brought in. At this time, what you don't see me doing is meditating. Deep breath, clear the mind, slow your heart rate. It's so important to release all the energy from the cataract surgery and refocus on this surgery at this point in time. This is a completely new. Uh, surgery from this point on. So here I'm coming in with the uh, Omni device and what you're going to see is I will engage the uh, 
now and then tilt the device at that 45 degree angle and I leave it there and this is to direct the, the fiber in and what you saw was five clicks in five clicks back out that's it I'm not doing a full 180 I'm just trying to do a quadrant to get the uh, hydrus room to to implant and that will control the bleeding which allows this step notice the hydrus is entered the eye posterior directed so it's like upside down then I angle it put my lens on and notice the focus is very anterior right on the tip and as I advance the hydrus I advance the focus with it so I keep the hydrus tip in focus the whole time again look at the angulation it's angled up hydrus goes in beautifully it's well seated um, I put it in the same exact opening as the uh, was created by the Omni when I do my this go elastic removal I go right over the device first so that I clear out viscoelastic from in front of the device. We don't want to um, do the viscoelastic removal from another position because then you'll be pressurizing the eye and you'll be pushing viscoelastic further into the device. I like to clear that out as quickly as possible. So I do a really thorough cleanup of the uh, viscoelastic. Uh, one more little check, make sure I, I like what I see. Hydrus is beautifully seated. You can see the little windows. It's in the anterior chamber exactly the right amount. Um, I don't tap it in if it looks like this. If it's further out, um, I would tap it to try to achieve that, but we really don't want it any deeper than what you saw right there. So as we finish up viscoelastic clearing, one of the key points was to be able to get the Omni and the Hydrus to be at the exact same location. And that's because I planned the paracentesis wound at four clock hours away from where I knew my final Hydrus and my Omni was going to be placed. So here you see me doing the last step of the procedure, which is also very important. We reorient the head back to neutral. Uh, reposition the scope. Sometimes I'll make it more vertical as well. And the goal here is to double check the position of the lens to make sure it has not shifted at all during any of the other manipulations. And at this time I will uh, move it or sometimes there's uh, extensive bleeding from the hydrus so I will go in and do another round of IA. And in this case I wasn't too happy with the uh, lens location so I go in with a BSS cannula and just give it a small little nudge there we go and that puts it exactly where I want it and we can see there's a small amount of reflux from the hydrus up at three o'clock and that is exactly the way we like these cases to go I thank you very much for your attention to this cataract with Omni and hydrus